Hello, Slavic here with game two of Corin versus Ezrar. Um, here we are on Scrap Station. Uh, PvP on Scrap. It. Well, I, I've never seen it not come down to Colossi over this ledge. Uh, th this this short narrow passageway is so important, um, and. If you get Colossi in there, then they can demolish anything um, in such narrow quarters. Uh, the openings on this map probably going to be pretty similar. Or er, as far kind of uh, late on that, uh, maybe is a bit nervous because uh, Pylon definitely should be going down at nine. Um, I don't know of any build in which uh, ten Pylon is better. Um, Corn going for the early scout. They might be roughly evening, perhaps, by scouting a bit earlier. Uh, it, but he'll be getting more information. Uh, gateway going down for both players. That, that actually seems kind of early. 12 gate? Uh, I guess because uh, of his supply block, he can board it, kind of. Uh, it really just means that he lost um, Corrin going to be more sensible with 14 gate, uh, playing well despite uh, that he lost uh, the last game. Oh, sorry, spoiler alert. Uh, just in case you're watching things out of order. Um, Corrin again, hiding his probe, I like that. Uh, if a Protoss player brings a probe into your base and you don't know where it is, you, you could definitely be in trouble. Uh, he does have a probe to watch for any forges going down, but nevertheless, um, you, you always want to know where that probe is, just in case it slips away and hides somewhere. Um, I, I really do like the, the hiding of the probe. Uh, it, he's more likely to make it out alive. Um, Corrin not mining his gas yet. That's a that's a big mistake. He's not going to have enough uh, gas to go start on the warp gate when uh, the core finishes. Uh, Ezra not doing so either. Oh no, he stopped mining gas. Oh, he's going for a heavy push. Four gate. Uh, not my. Oh. This is going to be very powerful uh, if he hits it. Uh, he's totally stopped pro production, possibly because he's supply blocked. The, um, he's going all in on this push, and I, I don't even know if this is an effective way of going about things. I don't think it is. Uh, you probably want to be building units out of this gateway. Where's his pylon? Okay, two pylons coming on either side of Corrin's base. Oh. Oh, this is not good. Well, okay. I mean, if the corn just, like, blows those things up, it's fine. But there's going... In any second now, there's going to be four zealots in his base. His warp, late warp gate is seriously going to hurt him. Oh, oh man. This is not good at all. Three, four pylons in his base. One was blocking his minerals. Corrin's forge going down. Uh, that's that's actually quite a good move, but uh, oh, okay, this this is trouble. Corrin, you really need a micro. Pull that stalker away. I uh, we'll, we'll build anything for the love of God. Build anything. Oh, this game is over. Oh, okay, Corrin. Corrin. That was. Horribly played by by both players. Uh, Corin, you can't wait. You cannot wait for warp gate to make your first unit. You just can't. And you need to get to that warp gate sooner. You need to be harvesting those uh, destiny gas sooner enough that you can actually uh, build stuff. Ezra totally screwed up his opening, but the fact that he actually made four zealots, won him the game. <sighs> this game already, oh, yes, yeah. Un 
unfortunately, no matter how good your macro is, you are not going to beat uh, nine cellos. Sorry, Corin. Better luck in the loser's bracket.